Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here from the Toy Car Collector. That's right, ToyCarCollector.com, where I feature Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, yes, Hot Wheels, and Matchbox. Yes, yes, Matchbox, and Johnny Lightning, Toppers, Aurora Speedline, all kinds of crazy stuff. Here's an Aurora Speedline, you know what I mean? Aurora Speedline, fantastic. And also, I feature... Oh, no, I don't feature that. It's Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightning, and some other toy cars. But today, today's episode is blister pack ripping, blister ripping. I can't wait to open them. I can't. I don't even remember what's in these packages. There's eight of them, and I go from the worst one to the best one, and just stick around. Let's take about 10 minutes of your time to watch these beautiful original Hot Wheels coming out of the packages for your watching pleasure and for my collecting pleasure. And let's get started right away with number one in a 1969 package. Has all the 6869s listed. I think it's all of them. I didn't count. You count. Take, take a minute to count. Oh, don't have time for that. Oh, the first one is a Brabham Repco. Now, how did I decide to rip this one? Well, number one, the package is trashed. A completely trashed package. I could just put this in my antique mall space, but it wouldn't even look good there. And, uh, the, you know, what's it worth? Not too much. You got the Brabham stickers in there, though. That's worth about 20 bucks. The car's in, got terrible original paint, but it is mint. I might, uh, just take these pipes and put them on a different model, because these pipes do come off. If you take a small screwdriver and stick it in the back there, you can pull those pipes off and maybe put that on another car that you have that you really like better. But anyway, uh, and then you got your button. So let's open her up. Let's get her open. Now, I do like to kind of save the package if I can. And to pull out the stuff inside, like the button, collector's pin. Now you will notice if you look closely that collector's pins are never in perfect condition. That is because they weren't made and then put in there. They were made and put in a stack. So they were stacked up and unstacked and got uh, moved around considerably from place to place. And so they are never perfect. All right, and got the nice decal sheet. Now these decal sheets are water transfers and they're still usable today. So. These cars do look way better with all their decals on. Now, coming out of the package is the Brabham Repco. Look at that. That 50-year-old rubber band is still good, still going, like the Energizer Bunny, who I haven't seen for a while. Let's see. Still buying Duracells, though. All right, let's see. Whoops, now it's broken. There it is, the original Brabham Repco. Let's get a, more, a little more light on the situation here. And you can see it has bad, bad paint on that. It's rough and bad and coming off and whatnot, but it has beautiful, perfect wheels. Beautiful, perfect wheels and beautiful pipes. So we will take that and put it right over there. Number two today, number two of eight is, looks like it's got a 1970 package, 1970. Now, if you took the time to look at it, you would notice that most of the 68 cars have been deleted from the 1970 package because they no longer sold them. But they still sold the Eldorado, the Hot Heap, the Custom Volkswagen, the Silhouette, Beatnik Bandit, Python, well, there's Corvette, and let's see, what else? What else? What else? Volkswagen, no, 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 no. Um, yep, that's it. Look at that. That's it. Silhouette, one. Two, Volkswagen. Three, Hot Heap. Four, Custom Eldorado. Five, Python. Six, Beatnik Bandit. Seven, Custom Corvette. Eight, Ford J-Car. There it is. Eight of the original 16. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, hey now. Now look at this package. This is really thrashed. Bent at the top, wrinkled here, torn here, cracked up there. Oh my goodness, what a mess. And barely closed. So pull that baby out, pull out the button. One twin mill button unfolded. All right. I'm going to grab my handy dandy trusty rag off to the side here. Wipe this off nice. Get a nice shine to it. Look at that. Twin mill. And let's go ahead and grab this. This is the light green. So there's going to be a lot of, going to be some residue on there. It's really, really tough to collect light green cars because they just have so many issues. The uh, paint oxidizes. I think that's what you'd call it. It turns kind of weird colors, gets a coating on it. As you can see, it's coming off on this rag. And uh, we're hoping for the best that this would be a nice twin mill because it's such a hard color to collect. Now, one bad thing about rubbing a car is you can rub paint off of rough areas that have bumps. This car already has scratches and things in the package, but it is mint out of package. I wouldn't call it necessarily mint. I guess I might give it a mint minus, but it's not a perfect car. It's got light, you know, it almost looks like fender wear on there but it is fresh out of the package, so we will call that good. Not good, but we'll call it mint minus. What the heck? All right, let's get started on the next one. The next one coming up is 
another 1970 package with lots of names on it. Not going to go through that now. And it is a, oh, look at that. It's a Carabo, Carabo. This one, wrinkled package. Now, sorry, folks, just don't buy packages that are in this shape. They just don't. Not for me. It's got big old crack over here, big old crack over there. And let's pull that baby out because I want a blue Carabo for my collection. And what better way to get a blue Carabo than fresh out of the original package with the pin. Collector's pin in plastic. 1970 model. Let's wipe this guy down. Maybe not rubbing that green stuff on it. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have any Carabos in my collection right now. But I'll start over again with the blue. I don't collect every model. Sometimes I sell off the models that I have. Start collecting again. Because collecting is what's fun. Just holding on to them, that's no fun. All right, that was three down and five to go. All right, number four today also has a 1970 package. Look at that, 79 on that. And it is a hot pink power pad. Now, this one has 79 written on it for some darn reason. And that is bad. That is bad. Nobody wants a package with 79 written on the face of it because it's just no fun anymore. So, you got a nice tight bubble there. We could cut it off. That'd be fun. Let's cut this off just for fun. Uh, yeah, let's get some scissors. Oh, this will be fun. You know, in the old days, people liked to cut the tops off the packages because they just felt like they took up too much space. And what better scissors to cut them off with than these fancy pattern scissors? That'll make it really interesting. Oh, can you stand it? Look at that. Oh, wow. Now it's got a rough edge on it. That's funny. Yep, there it is. Saved it. Doesn't take up so much space now. All that paper up there just taking space. Yeah, right. I don't know why they did it, but some people did that back in the day. And that card seemed not worth anything with that 79 written on there. Look at that. Hide your eyes, because the bling is coming. There is the bling, and the bling of the button. And another non-folded button, which is kind of cool. I used to fold all my buttons over, but I stopped doing that, because people keep asking me for buttons that aren't folded. It's pretty cool. Depends on what kind of display you're trying to put together. I'm not sure you can get all the buttons in that kind of condition. Maybe. Oh, look at that. I can check up the... Nope. No, not that. There we go. Playing with the camera here a little bit. Get my adjustments up. Never quite sure what the camera's going to see. Depends on how much light you put on it. The camera tries to adjust for it. Maybe I need to move up slightly. Let's just move up into the light box a little bit. It looks real nice. Of course, the roof slides off on the power pad. This one's got a lot of toning on it, but if, as long as you put it under bright lights, uh, you will not necessarily see much of the toning. So that is a good thing. So I'm going to back back up again here. And that's halfway through 7 minutes, 43 seconds. Let's go for number 5. Number 5, let's see. Hmm. 69 package. Good, good. And, um, hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so, all right, let's turn it over, and, oh, it's a Volkswagen in a really crappy package. You know, I thought this package was complete when I bought it on eBay, but I wanted the color of the Volkswagen anyway, and I saw the shiny motor, so I thought, well, you know, it's a possibility that the guy had just put this in the package, and then it looks like that may have been true. Let's pull it out and find out if it looks like a blister pull. Oh, look at that. Well, that base looks real good. Tires look unused. It's got a few dings on it, but, you know, that's kind of what you expect with the car that has maybe some paint issues. I'm not going to, uh, gosh, I'm afraid to, almost afraid to wipe this one down because it has, you know, a lot of paint little issues. I don't want to rub it too hard. I just kind of pat it, get some of that dust off of it. But it is an olive U.S., but that's really hard. I don't think I have one right now, so I'm happy to get it. I think I paid like two twenty-five for that, something like that. These things get expensive, and it is a pretty one. And then the package is not very good shape. It's got staple holes, but the card itself is not bad. Let's see if we can get that button out of there. I guess I could pull the staple. Oh, that's not good. I didn't really want to rip it. I don't really, you know, when I say blister ripping, I don't mean I want to rip the blisters all the shreds because blister packs are worth money. I got it try to get some of this money back somehow that I'm throwing away opening up blisters. Nah, that's not really true. Not really throwing away money opening blisters because he's blister. Oh, gross. It was this button that was gross. Look at that thing. That is Rust City. Goodbye, Rust City button. Into the trash. And that package is nasty. Okay, we've got three more to go. It's nine minutes, 39 seconds here at Toy Car Collector Radio. Next caller, please. 
No, that's just my dream of being a DJ. All right, check it out. Oh, wow, we're stepping up our game, stepping up our game to Sugar Caddy. Now, the Sugar Caddy has a few paint errors, paint issues on the back here for sure, but it's got nice motor, nice color, and a crappy package that looks like it's been re-glued over here. That looks like it's been re-glued. If you look real close, I'll give you a minute to look at that, you can see that the colors don't match up. If you ever see a, and then, of course, it's got some, obvious glue you know where how it spreads out there but anytime you look at a blister and you see like this yellowing and colors don't match that means at some point the thing's been glued back on now it could have just fallen off and they just wanted it back on or it could have been that they just put the thing in somebody else's package so let's just go ahead and pop this open now and we won't worry about that anymore I just, oh look at that yeah nice and shiny got a little bit of brown on there which leads me to believe it's probably been out of the package but I don't see any wear on the car itself. Um, there's some paint issues there, so I'm gonna, not going to wipe that down too hard. I just have to pat that one. Get some of the dust off. You don't want to rub these cars that have paint issues because when they have paint bubbles and you rub them, the paint bubbles come off. So, But that's a beautiful, beautiful car. Now, I wish that number was a little straighter. I think there's ways for you to get that off and put it back on again, but I'm not going to try that. It looks real good on this side real nice and straight so we'll put that down that's pretty cool and another package open and another decal sheet look at that snake the uh, spoiler series decal sheet okay all right 11 minutes 24 seconds i'm gonna jump ahead i'm gonna take this package here i'm gonna look and see what it is oh that's a good one i'm gonna put that one away for next time that one's going back for next time and we're gonna jump right up to number eight Right after we move these around a little bit and talk about number eight. Number eight over here is actually a car from 1971. Now, it is a car that's in a fairly bad package. And one of my customers uh, said he wanted the car, but he didn't want it in the package. And he didn't want to open it himself. And so he asked me to do it for him. Some people just can't bring themselves to open a blister. So I'm doing it. And you're watching it right here at ToyCarCollector.com. All right. And it is, da da da, music please, da 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 da, but um, ha ha ha, Olds 442, Olds 442, oh my gosh, now that I look at it, I'm sad that I'm selling it, really, maybe I shouldn't have sold the thing, but this car is expensive, and uh, this particular package has a big old hole right here, looks like a mouse maybe chewed on it at one time, and I've had several packages that mice have chewed on. But it has a perfect sticker sheet on there. It really does. Might be that, I don't know. Let's Well, let's open it up. Can you believe it? We're opening up an old 442. This is an expensive car. It's like a $2,000 car, if you can believe that or not. And look at that base on there. Holy smokies. Look at that. We'll put this aside. You notice I got a sticker sheet. And that still in the package. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I better be careful. And I want to, this is going to be a prized possession. Like I say, I've already sold this car, so don't call me about it. It is nice. Maybe I shouldn't have sold it. I think I'm, I, I know I have a green one. I'm going to take the spoiler off. It comes right off. No big deal. Wipe it down a little bit. Check the hood. Check the tires. Get the dust off the tires. Oh, better not touch that base. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. This is going to be a signature car in someone's collection. And uh, I think I have one myself somewhere. I try not to look at my good, my really good cars because then you're tempted to sell them to buy something else. Like I could sell his car and buy a colored television set or something. You know, you never know. Look at the interior. Now, checking on an old 442, you always want to make sure that that interior is straight across there like that. Because a lot of times... That square will be stuffed up underneath the dashboard and make it so that the that the uh, hood will not open. Now, I'm not going to open this hood because they didn't design these quite right. And the front of the hood on most of them will bang against the cowl. And so that is not going to open ever. And let's just not do that. Maybe if you push down on the back and then pushed it in. Y yeah. That is tight. Look how shiny that is. Woo. Wow, that is shiny. Okay, so I'm going to push that back down. So I pushed in the center a little bit to open that. was able to get it in there with no damage. But don't do that. It's got a little got a little, little factory flaw right there. Interior, the back window is sitting in there real clean. 
looking in the back it looks like it's sitting you can look under the back wheel and you can see that like this side is sitting down flat this side is a little bit up but that's just normal for a 442 they have a variety of of uh, issues when they built them but look how beautiful that is you are not going to get a shiny base like that unless you look at that look what this my camera freaks it out let me see uh, as we go boom yeah that's shiny look at that oh that is a beauty so let's review the cars from today let's zoom in and review what came out of the package today 71 olds 442 1971 sugar caddy 1971 sugar caddy from the 1970s the power pad 1970s what is that 47 years ago now 1970 carabo in blue blue 69 twin mill twin mill in light green the 69 the 69 brabham repco brabham repco and a 68 custom volkswagen probably not made in 68 because they did keep making this volkswagen for a few years but a nice olive green color and uh, maybe even slightly olive gold they'd have a little bit different tint to each one but there it is folks seven beautiful cars released from those nasty original blister packs all for your watching pleasure and me too so come on over to toycarcollector.com and check it out. We got all kinds of neat things for sale. And when I say we, I mean me, because it's just me, Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector. Thanks, folks. Have a great day. Bye now.